Sixth grade Excel, lesson 73, filling in missing numbers in a sequence of decimal numbers. You guys aren't going to have any trouble with this. This is a simple lesson. And uh, so here we go. For each of these number series, fill in the missing numbers. So number one, the example problem they show you here is 3.2, 3.3, 3.4, 3.5, and of course the missing numbers would be 3.6 and 3.7. What's being added is 0.1 or one-tenth to each number. The simplest way to look at these is to just drop the decimal point out and read each number without the decimal point and then put the decimal point back in when you go to fill in the answers. So like on this one here, you'd have 32, 33, 34, 35, obviously it would be 36, 37. Some of these do get a little tricky and if you use that kind of drop the decimal point idea, it'll help to uh, save some errors on these. Number two, 5.5 uh, .5 or 5 and 5 tenths, 6, 6 and 5 tenths, 7, 7 and 5 tenths would be the missing number, and then 8. Uh, and again, if you look at it as being 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, uh, it makes it a little bit easier, and we're adding 5 tenths to each number. Number 3, 4.85, 4.90, 4.95, 5.00, and 5.05. .05. Now this one's getting a little trickier, but again, if you think of it as 485, 490, 495, 500, then you go to 505 next. All right, and the next one you're gonna try on your own, so give that a shot, pause the video, and then turn it back on when you're ready to see the solution. All right, so think of this as 426, 427, 428, 429. The next number after 429 is 430. Put the decimal point back in there, and what's being added to each number, this is the place that's changing. The tenths place is not changing, but the hundredths place is and it's changing by one each time. We're adding 0.01 to each number. You do need to show this. This is part of your show work. It helps you to be a better mathematician. You need to write that down there and make sure you match that up on consensus. All right, let's go to the next problem. Go ahead and give, why don't you just do all of these, five through 10. Pause the video when you're ready to see what the solutions are. Okay, number five, 2.33, 2.43, 2.53, 2.63, Again, think of this as 233, 243, 253, and you can see that this number is the one that's changing every time. And so what would come after 263 would be 273. Put the decimal point back in, and the number is adding one-tenth each time because it's the first place after the decimal that's changing. The first place is changing by one each time. Number six, 876, 800, or 776, 676, 576 or 8.76 and so on. That first number is the one that's changing, which is in the ones place. And so you can see it's going 8, 7, 6, 5. We're going to go 4 here, 476 or 4.76. And what we're doing is subtracting one, one whole number each time. Number seven, 8.35, 8.26, 8.17, 8.08. Now this is a little bit trickier. If you didn't know the answer right away, hopefully you actually did a math problem on there. I'm going to do that right here. I'm going to put 8.26 underneath 8.35 just to you know check this out. And I can't subtract 5 minus 6, so I'm going to regroup, borrow from the 3, make it a 2. This is 15. 15 minus 6 is 9. And 2 minus 2 is nothing. So what I'm doing is subtracting 0.09 every time. Or think of it as subtracting 9. And then I go down here and subtract my 0.09 from 8.08, .08, and I cannot do 8 minus 9. There's a zero next door. I'm gonna borrow from that and uh, make that into a 79 instead of 80. So we have 18 minus 9 is 9, and 9 minus nothing is 9, and 7 minus nothing is 7. Put the decimal point back in, and we get 7.99. Now, if you did not get that answer for that one, think about the logical you know, is your, is your answer logical? So 7.99, 8.08, 8.17. You can see this is growing larger as we go this way. And uh, it makes sense to go down a little bit below the number eight for this number here. All right, the next one, we're going 7.05, 6.35, 5.65. Again, a little bit trickier. So we probably want to do a subtraction problem here and figure out exactly what's happening. So five minus five is zero. 70 minus 63 is seven. You can regroup on that, but I just do 70 minus 63. 
And so we are going down each time 0.7. So what I need to do now is subtract 0.7 on this one. I get a 5. Can't do 6 minus 7. Have to regroup. Make that a 4. 16 minus 7 is 9. And it's 4.95 in the missing blank. Okay, number 9. 2.66, 2.96, 3.26. You can see that this number is the one that's changing. The last digit is always a 6. So we're going 6, 9, 2, 5. What's being added? Well, it looks like we're adding 3 every time, or 0.3, because 3 more than 6 is 9. 3 more than 9 would be 12. You can see we go up to the number 3 there instead of 2. And then 2 plus 3 is 5. You can do the exact math problem like I did up here to figure out what it is. I just kind of did mental math on that one. So since these are going up each time by 0.3, to get to this first number, we're going to be going down 0.3. And so this number here is going to change by 3. 2.36 would be the correct answer. Okay, on this next one, you can see that we're going from 9 to 15, some number to 27 to 33. From 9 to 15, is 0.06. You can do the math if you want to, but it's pretty simple to tell, I think, that it's 6 greater, and it's two spots past the decimal, so I need to make it 0.06. And so I add 0.06 to 4.15 and get 4.21. And again, you know, you can actually do the math, like I showed you here, solve that, but uh, that's kind of a mental math way of doing it. All right, these are a little bit trickier, a little different. They're going to actually write words out for the numbers instead of the numbers themselves. Uh, let's do the first one together, and then I'll have you do the rest of them on your own. 6.71, you're going to actually write that right here below. Put a comma. 6.31, 6.31, and then you have a blank. And then 5.51, 5.51 and 5.11 and 5.11. Okay, you notice that all of these have a one in the hundredths place. So the hundredths place is not changing at all. It looks like it's the tenths place that's changing. And to go from seven to three, to go from five to one, is changing by four, four tenths. So all I have to do is take four tenths off of this number here and I can't take 4 away from 3, so I'm actually going to have to regroup on that. But if I subtract 4 tenths, I get 59, or 5.9. So the answer is going to be 5.91. And uh, go ahead and try numbers two, uh, 12, 13, and 14. Pause the video until you're ready to see the answer. All right, these are actually done for us. I'm going to skip right over to that to show you where the numbers are. And uh, let me make this a little bit smaller. It's going to be tricky. So you've got 2.15, 2.95, 3.75, and 4.55. And the number is always ending in a 5 in that hundredths place. The number that's changing is the tenths. Looks like it's going up by 8 every time, or 0.8. So that means to get to this number here, I need to subtract 0.8 to get to that one. And so I'm going to do 2.15 minus 0.8 and that's 5 and I do 21 minus 8 which is 13 and so the answer is 1.35 number 13 they show you the numbers here that are the translations of those and then we do uh, what's changing here is you have 5 5 5 5 so the last number the number in the hundreds place is the one that's changing Looks like it's going up by 2 every time. So 0.02 is actually the change, which means I need to go down right here by 0.02. So what's 2 less than 51? That's 49. So the answer is 5.49. And the last one here, 8.32, 8.21, 8.10. What's changing? 32, 21, 10. And you could do the math, but I can mentally figure out that it looks like it's changing by 11 hundredths every time. So now I'm going to subtract 11 hundredths from 8 and 10 hundredths. I can't do 10 minus 11, so I have to regroup, and I'm going to get 7.99. You can actually write that out if you need to. And then changing this one, subtracting 11 from this, 
I get 7.88. And uh, I believe that's it. Yep. Thanks for watching.